Hello students, happy weekend. Without wasting time, today we are going to discuss the same topic resolution of more than two forces. I will take only one numerical that is the master sum. So let us see. Okay students, so today we will discuss only one numerical that is the master sum. Please read the data. What is given to you? A, B, C, D, E is a regular hexagon. Force is 90 Newton, P, Q, 240 Newton and 180 Newton acting along the side A, B, C, A, A, D, A, E and F, A respectively as shown in figure. What we have to find? Find the forces P and Q for the condition of equilibrium of the system. In the last lecture, we have studied what is the condition of equilibrium sigma h equal to 0 and sigma v equal to 0. Therefore, resultant is also equal to 0. Now, compressive forces must be converted into tensile forces. Now, let us see which figure is given to you. Say this. This figure is given to you. In this figure, there is a regular hexagon. Okay, there is a regular hexagon. Now, a is the origin. You can see this. A is the origin. From this, forces are acting along several sides like this. F, A, A, E, A, D, A, C, A, B. Okay. And then after this figure is simplified and converted over here. Now, let me show you how the things happen. First of all, we will go back and check some figures. Okay. Let us see. Okay. This is the blank side. Now, first of all, let me explain you something. Now, what is a regular hexagon? Hexagon means what? Having six equal sides. Okay. Having six equal sides. But mm, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is also hexagon. Okay. But this is not a regular hexagon. This is the regular hexagon. Why? This is the regular hexagon. Why? Because all the sides are of equal measure. Plus, angle between two consecutive sides is also equal. Can you tell me what is the angle between two consecutive sides in the regular hexagon? How much? Let us see. In the regular hexagon, in the regular hexagon, if you extend some line, then this will be exterior angle, say theta. This is the exterior angle. What is the formula for this exterior angle? It is equal to 360 divided by number of sides. Here number of sides is 6. Okay. So answer will be 360 divided by 6 is equal to 60. So this is the exterior angle of regular hexagon. Now let us see again. This is the regular hexagon. Okay. Now this exterior angle is 60 as per the formula. So this interior angle is 120 degree. Okay. So 120 degree is the interior angle of regular hexagon. So now each and every angle is 120 degree in the hexagon. Are you getting this? Okay. One more thing. In the regular hexagon, in the regular hexagon, if A is the origin and if you draw some lines from this point like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the first corner side. This is the second side, third side, fourth side, five side, fifth side. Now this interior angle is 120 degree. Okay. Now what is given over here? It is regular hexagon. What is the meaning of regular? What is the meaning of regular? This 120 degree is divided into equal parts like this first part, second part, third part, fourth part. So total is 120 degree. So four equal parts will be of 30, 30, 30, 30. Okay. So this is the regular hexagon. Now, so this is my target. Four interior angles 
equal equal angles are of 30 degree so it is the property of regular hexagon now let us check the given figure this is the given figure to you so here also you can see exterior angle is 60 degree and remaining all the angles are of 30 degree okay now you are getting this now check the forces what is given in the data there are five forces there are five forces acting in the hexagon 90 newton p q 240 newton and 180 newton now this five forces acting along the sides actually five sides are also given in the data you can check back and see what are the five sides see this which is the side given in the data a b c a read the name carefully a b not b a okay a b means what a to b then after c to a then after a to d a to e f to a okay this type of five sides are given to you let us check so this is the sides a to b 90 newton c to a means downwards p a to d q a to E 240 Newton and F to A 180 Newton left side. Okay, this is the figure you can see. And interior angles are 30 degree in the right side figure. Now, what is our target? Our target is to simplify this figure. To simplify this figure, I have kept this page blank. Let me show you. This is point A, regular hexagon is like this this is the origin x-axis let me roughly show you this is the regular example a b c t d and e these are the sides okay now what are the forces first force is like this second force is downward this is actually vertical in the given figure you can check back later this is upwards this is also upwards and this is left side so what are the tensile forces so tensile forces are this one and this one because it is coming inside to point a okay so these two forces are not valid these two forces are converted into tensile forces and then after this hexagon is removed and only x and y axis should be drawn let me check how check back again this is the point a now this is x y axis x axis point a x axis okay first force will be like this a b in this direction here it is side b c okay you can imagine but from c to a force is coming down so it will go tensile like this force p two forces are in the second quadrant first quadrant like this one force is along the negative x axis so convert it into tensile like this so this will be 180 newton force okay this is p this is q this is 240 something watt so this will be the angles or x y axis forces this all angles are 30 30 30 30 okay 30 30 30 30 and this will be the exterior angle this will be the exterior angle which is 60 so now you can imagine the figure okay now you can imagine the figure actually this is the weekend type of example saturday weekend so you have to practice at yourself okay that's why i am explaining like this so use your mind actually and tell me if any doubts let us check back see this is the figure this is the figure but in this point a to b 90 is tensile p should be converted downwards because of compressive force q is already there upwards 240 is also upwards but this 180 newton force is to be converted into tensile force means in left side in negative x axis so this will be the figure 
interior angles are 30 degree exterior angle is 60 degree now what we have to find we have to find two forces p and q what is given to you system is in equilibrium so sigma h is equal to zero sigma v is equal to zero now let us check only sigma h first what is sigma h so starting from here first force is 240 newton angle will be 30 from x axis okay remember the method so it will be 240 cos 30 first component second force is q and total angle is 60 degree so it will be q cos 60 now forgot this p because p is downwards so we will discuss it later now next force is 90 newton but the angle of this 90 newton force from x axis means like this it is totally 4 times 30 so it will be 120 so 90 cos 120 next this 180 newton force is coming left so tensile so angle from positive x axis will be like this so total 180 so it will be 180 cos 180 and last force means this p which is going down in this direction so angle from positive x axis will be like this so it is 270 so p cos 270 and sigma h equal to 0 because it is a system of equilibrium so this is the equation so in this equation you can find these values in the calculator but there are two unknowns u cos 60 and v cos 270 in the q cos 60 cos 60 means 0.5 q as it is and in cos 270 its value is minus 1 you can check in your calculator cos 270 sorry cos 270 what is cos 270 cos 270 check in your cal maybe it is 0 okay so here it is the equation in which only q is unknown so you can find in your cal that q is equal to 34.3 newton so it is the first answer unknown force q will be 34.3 newton now the sum is very easy what you have to find sigma v it is also equal to 0 because of equilibrium you just have to copy this sigma h value okay all the values are copied don't see the figure now sigma v all the values are copied down but only cos is replaced by sine okay as we have discussed in the previous lecture so now q is available to you so replace in this equation q equal to 34.3 remaining values as it is in the form of sine theta now last one is p sine 270 and now sine 270 sine 270 sine 270 it is in the calculator check it sine 270 is equal to minus 1 so this answer will become minus p okay so in this equation there are two unknowns q and minus p but q is given to you 34.3 newton so by simplification you will get the answer p equal to 2 to 7.64 newton so this is basically the value of forces p and q now students this is the master base why this is the master base to understand the figure is quite difficult so you go back into my video and check the regular hexagon properties 360 by n formula find exterior angle find interior angle divide interior angles into four equal parts because of regular hexagon properties convert tensile forces p and 180 newton into tensile forces sorry compressive forces into tensile forces and draw rough figure at your own then after solve this sigma h and sigma v you will surely find the value of q and p so this is basically the master sum now this is the weekend saturday sunday is coming there so i am giving you a small sum in your homework this is first time okay check it so this is the sum for your homework is it is example 9 from Atul Prakashan. Don't copy from the book. A wheel is in equilibrium under an action of five concurrent forces acting outward from the center and having equal angle. If three consecutive forces are three consecutive, huh? Consecutive forces are 500 Newton, 700 Newton, and 600 Newton respectively. Calculate the remaining two forces. 
so first time i am giving this numerical to you and this numerical figure is not given to you only three forces is given to you and a wheel is given to you wheel means circular portion okay just a hint circle is having 360 degree angle there are five forces so maybe you have to divide 360 by 5 try yourself for this example comment the answer without fail in the youtube comment box okay i will check the answer you just practice it and write down in the comment box so that's it for the today first one is law of parallelogram of forces is the previous topic this one is resolution of more than two forces this is the master sum of polygon means of hexagon and this is the homework sum means of a wheel you will try this and give me the answer okay see you in the next lecture see you on the monday thank you students